All right, guys, we're going to be starting on something fun today. We're doing a disc brake upgrade conversion on a 1969 Roadrunner. We're going to go from four-wheel drum brakes to four-wheel disc brakes and probably going to run into a lot of problems along the way. So let's get to it. Got the Roadrunner out today. Gonna start a little project. Hey, I just want to say something about this project. Uh, we started back in February 2020. There was all the pandemic stuff going on. We were working on other stuff too. So we're just now kind of getting back into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start releasing some of the earlier footage of this and we'll get all caught up by the end. Still got the factory old drum brakes on it. Gotta do a little upgrade. So our new stuff's supposed to be here tomorrow. We don't really know what all's gonna come in the kit, but we think that it's not gonna come with this lower bracket right here. The lower ball joint and all that bracket. We don't think it's gonna come with it. It looks like we're gonna have to just take it apart at the top and then take these two nuts off, the front one and the back one. Take all this and then hopefully the disc brakes just comes with the new spindle mounted at the top ball joint and put all our goodies on there. So we're gonna start taking it apart, see how hard it is, see if we got a beat on it. Bigger? Bigger. One million. Fifteen, sixteen. Yep. There it is. This is one of them upgrades that that car has been needing for a long, long time and I'm glad to see it happening now. Got this kit, supposedly come with everything. We're just going to have to see, we'll, we'll get it, crack it open. It's uh, three big old boxes. I'm sure the FedEx guy was happy when he got toting those to the front porch. But um, yeah, we'll crack them open, see what we got in there. Hopefully it's everything we need to do this. You know, there's always gonna be something, uh, you know, that needs to be changed over that's probably not in this so-called kit, you know? So, let's head over to Pop's Garage and bust into these boxes, see what we got. Dick, can we get some light? Oh, there we go, all right. Battery died yesterday. This is what we got. We already got one side tore apart. They done got started on it before I got here. Took the, look this out here. Took the spindle off with the drum and everything all in one. Two bolts on the bottom, ball joint on top, and the hose. I don't know why, there we go. All right, it's unboxing time. It's unboxing time. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. We don't got started. Cut and tape. What's in that one? Is that a heavy box or a light box? Yeah, light box. Some kind of bracket we got. We probably won't even need brackets. Well, a box in a box. We got a lot of boxes in boxes here. Gear World, I think is where, we got this stuff off eBay. This is an eBay kit. This is the front disc brake conversion with power booster conversion. So you're going from no booster, 
no brake booster, just just a master cylinder there. To brake booster. So your steel block and everything. Oh, there's your proportion and valve. Yeah. Valve, yeah, and there's your lines for the proportion and valve. That's good. I'm sure we'll need that. Let's check that out. Let's get a little look at the old proportion and proportion and valve. Would you just? I mean. What's this? What is this got some kind of sensor on the daggum thing? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Maybe it came from this. Yeah, that's uh, maybe it's right here. That's true. If we get cold, we got burn oh, something. There's your booster. That's your booster right there. That's cool. Pretty. What'd you find there? Where was that? Just hanging out in the box? Dang, is that how they package stuff? And they just throw them in there? All this was in the bottom of the box. Ah, oh, jeez. What the? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. And this bag? That's whatever this is. Oh, okay. Was this in there? An ink pen? I mean, I took this out of the box. Did you put it in there? What's it say on it? Yeah. Gearhead, look, they gave us a free ink pen. <laughs> they might not package all your pieces, like these right here, but they do give you a free ink pen advertising the business. I do like that because, you know, oh, and it's got the stylus on the end of it, too. Two and one. What we got here, master cylinder. What is this? That's what she Wait, that's not what she said. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody else said. Nice, nice. What you got there? Some fittings for it. Yeah. Cool. Some adapters. Look like some adapters. I wonder what's in here. Is this new rims? This, I think it had to come with bigger rims for this kid. They're probably in that box. Hold up. Are, can we turn the daggone TV down for one minute? Bearing kit. Oh, okay. Caps. Bearings and Everything. caps. Dust caps. Nice. Seals. Yep. 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 Sir, good. Sir. Good. Good. Next box. Go ahead, Tom. Can't believe they sent us this ghost pepper. Ghost pepper sauce. Boy, oh boy, that's a good company right there. Sent us ghost pepper sauce and some Louisiana Bayou sauce. That's almost unbelievable. What's this company called again? Gearhead. Gearheadworld.com. Oh, that's a disc right there with a race. Yeah. Yeah, race installed. Front disc with the race installed. Lugs installed. That looks nice. That's a rotor. That's one heavy rotor. That's where all the weight come from right there. Two of them. That's good we got two of them. I was worried about that too. One more gift from Santa over here. What is this? Oh, a bleeder thing? Bleed? That's a bleeder dingus. I didn't know it came with a bleeder dingus too. Oh, that one's got an arm. Oh, boy. You better get them separated. Oh, boy. That's going to be a caliper bracket and a caliper. We didn't spring for the red ones, did we? Oh, I thought we had to paint all this. Did we get any paint? No. All right. Cut. We'll come back and see y'all tomorrow after we buy some paint. Step one, we didn't even buy paint. There's your spindle. That's nice. Is that heavy? Yeah, it's got a little weight to it. That's nice. Definitely gonna have to paint that stuff because there ain't no kind of coating on it. That's gonna rust as soon as you touch. Dang it, we already paint. touched it. Pads. Nice. Caliper. What kind of fitting is it? Is that gonna be the same straight fitting? Yeah. Okay. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Look at all that. What is this? Oh, here we go. Here's their advertisement, even though they didn't pay us nothing. But we hadn't decided if we were pro or con on this yet. We will let you know. What was that? Another caliper? Is yeah. that all that? All right.
So that's all the bits. So. So there's one part missing. What? The booster. No, no booster. booster. I saw it. I don't know where it's at, but I did see it. I did see the booster. No. Oh crap! We already well, lost the booster. The we already lost the booster, guys. Right here, right here. No, oh wait. Oh okay, there it is. Found it. Found it. There's one thing I don't like about. No instructions. Well, all right. This piece flew off of it. Yeah, it's just a thread protector. Old thread condom. Thread condom. Keep that on there. We don't get no diseases on it. All this weird stuff. You got to figure out what's going on. Ah, yeah. That don't look bad. So far, I think the biggest hurdle is going to be paint, which is seems like what we need to do first is paint it. But we'll figure that out. So we got one side torn down, other side we need to tear down next. Alright, quick update. In our stash of old paint cans. Maybe not too old. Alright, that's Chevy Orange, that's not the one I was talking about. I think they're all over here somewhere. We found some red ceramic paint and some black engine enamel. So I think we're going to do our calipers in red and then do all the spindle and brackets and stuff in black. Thought we were going to have to make an emergency run to the store, but somehow we lucked up. Looks like a dang headache waiting to happen over here. Got one coat of paint. Just putting another one on now. Calipers. And then the caliper brackets, the master cylinder, spindles. Got one coat of paint on them. It's about zero degrees out. We're trying to do painting in the cold. So bring them out, throw a coat of paint on them. Then quick try to bring them back in, let them warm up a little bit while they dry. So that's three coats on the red. I think both of them's got three coats on them. Hard to see them. Lighting's bad in here. And second coat going on the black. Probably just do two coats on the black. It seems to be covering a whole lot better than that red does. So I think that's all the parts we got paint. Here's the old stuff here. Got these old bolts. The new kit did not come with these bolts right here which was kind of surprising, but I'm gonna salvage the old ones on that. All right, y'all. Here's what we come up with. We've looked all over, found pictures and stuff, and come up with how this is supposed to be all attached in there. The thing is, this kit, called a kit, comes with nothing. No, no diagram, no pictures, no, not even a parts list, not even a list of part numbers and what's included in this kit. This is just parts. All you got was a box of boxes and boxes of parts. We found part numbers on stamped into some of these to tell us which is left side and which is right side. Here's one one piece you got. A piece of paper here that tells you how to hook up the proportioning valve doesn't tell you which way this bracket goes, doesn't tell you uh, what bolts, you know, we think these bolts go with that bracket. Obviously there's some more brake line pieces that we're going to need that aren't in the kit, so called kit. There's a bracket, here's your booster, these bolt holes would mount to that problem is I don't care which way you put this you could flip this any way you want and let me show you something see how those bolt holes are off this one's lined up top one's gonna be off I don't care how you angle it what you do this I don't one's care lined if you flip up. it to this one. Top one's going to be off. Flip it I don't to care that how one. you angle it, I don't what care you do. Which way you try I don't to care mount if you this. flip it to this one. I don't care if you flip it to that one. These bolts which way you are try not going to line up. So this piece is going to need re-drilled. 
Look at these guys. Try to make it like I'm late or something. Just because I'm the last one here. So, alright, so there's the master cylinder. We got to get it out of the way. Got, should be four bolts there. And then a couple more up top in the plate there. And they're going to be a pain in the butt because you got to get under the dash inside to hold the other end of them. Show you all what we're working with here. Very, very tight quarters. Try and get this bolt out that's holding the master cylinder linkage to the pedal. Tight quarters. We got the lines off the master cylinder. I got those bolts. Loose. Making some headway. So here's what we got. The booster is not lining up with any of these holes that we got here on the firewall. So it looks like the best thing we can do is try to reuse the bottom two and drill two new ones right up here for the four bolts to line up with. So we gotta drill two more holes in the firewall. Hopefully it'll fit in there. Yeah. battery might be. Woo! That one come out the speedometer. It did. <laughs> oh, it's in there now. That's all the way in. Then back in here to the fun spot, trying to get to all those four bolts. So, here's where we're at, bring up speed. So far, nothing's just slap it on there. It looks like all that disc brake assembly should bolt up on here. We still had not tried that yet. We're over here trying to get this all worked out. So, after re-drilling the firewall, Cutting one of the studs off of the booster, uh, we got it bolted in there. It's not hooked to the pedal yet, but it looks like it should be able to hook up there. Zero of the brake lines, none of the brake lines are work are the right size uh, threads or fittings to go into the uh, proportioning valve. So we got tons and tons of adapters and lines. So we're going to have to redo every bit of that. None of the not one not one threaded connection is the right size on any of that stuff. So we went to O'Reilly's, we spent another hundred and forty something, almost hundred and fifty dollars on parts from O'Reilly's. Um, the hoses to the brakes I don't think are gonna work. They ordered us another set of them. Um, we got I don't know how many little brass fittings here to be able to connect our proportion and valve to the brake lines that are on the car. And a piece of steel tubing somewhere to reach to the other side of the proportion valve for the back end. So maybe out of all this stuff, we're going to get close. We still know that we're pretty sure we're not going to be able to connect to the calipers with this hose here though. There was a proportioning valve, looked like from the factory that was mounted down in here. We took it off and there it is. There's the stock proportioning valve. So we took it off and we have the one that comes in the kit, so-called kit that we're gonna put on. But like I said, every single line, the threads are a different size. So we had to adapt every single one of them. I had to cut and do some flaring on some other ones. That's where we're at so far with our half the price eBay kit as opposed to the other kit that's supposed to be ready to go bolt on. So see how all our adapting goes and we'll get back with you. The record button pushed. <laughs> I do that all the time. Really? All that time the Right. It's an old man trick.
Yeah. All right. So here we are. Proportioning valve is in there. We cut out the factory proportion valve was way down here. And we had to cut it out and put adapters and different size fittings on about everything in here. Let's see. Here's a T. That splits the two front ones apart. Right there. And then we coupled the rear end together where it went through the proportion valve. We coupled it back together without the valve so it runs straight up into this proportion valve. Back end ties in there. Front end ties in one time there and goes down to the T. And then we have to plug this one. And we got a plug that for some reason doesn't fit. And we're trying to find another plug for that. Also, we ordered the lines for the calipers. It's supposed to be in Monday. The ones that they gave us don't fit. Uh, there's a difference in a 69 and a 70. We ordered the 69s and they don't fit the calipers that they gave us. So be sure and get the 70 ones apparently uh, if you got this kit. Uh, so we still got to get all the brake parts, rotor, caliper, uh, spindle, all that in. And as you see on the other side, on the other side we still haven't even disassembled it yet. So that's where we're at. This. Uh, this kit, this conversion kit, comes with a lot of parts, just stuff, but man, you're going to have to piece a lot of it together yourself, a whole lot of it. But that's where we're at with it, and uh, let's see if we can find a plug for that hole right there. Butt plug. Also down here, we got the booster. We're trying to get it installed. We got one nut there. That's the two bottom ones. You can kind of see them. There's two more up top. They're completely invisible. Barely can't even get your hand up there. So we got those to mount up still. It's coming along. It's coming along. All right, I'm gonna bring this video to a close right here. I don't know if you've noticed or not, if you've ever put one of these kits on, there's a huge flaw in our installation right now. Uh, that's gonna get brought up in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the second half of this video. Hopefully I get it out in two videos, hopefully it doesn't stretch into three. But be sure to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.